Hi guys, this is your clueless doomsday moron here at midnight on Saturday night in Doomsday Trailer West Coast. Here in the end times on Saturday night, right about midnight, so it's probably Sunday morning, but we're going to call it Saturday night, August 22nd, 2015. I'm knocking off work. Knocking off work. Making my $15 an hour. Doing what? How about this for a phallic symbol? Benzomatic. This is your old Benzomatic. Whoosh! Oh yeah, I'm going to get some doomsday porno here. Anyway guys, I don't know whether it's August 22nd or August 23rd, 2015. But what I want to talk about here while sitting on this abandoned toilet here in the end times and environmentally progressively correct Sebastopol California is this little ditty about August 13th 2015 August 13th came and went completely escaped my attention uh, because number one I didn't have any internet it was was it the day I moved in here or the day after I moved in here? Where I was on August 13th, 2015, I was at the Home Depot in Santa Rosa, California. The Home Depot in Rohnert Park, California, helping my friend buy some, probably about, I think we were, Maybe that day we're picking out her $2,600 laminate floor. I think is what I was doing on August 13th. So what's all this talk about August 13th now, Moon? Well, I'll clue you in because this clueless... Doomsday Mor Moron found out today, going back through my old emails, this one from the Center for, Pop Center for Biological Diversity, that August 13, 2015 was this year's Earth Overshoot Day. Earth Overshoot Day marks deficit in planet's natural resources with overconsumption pushing earth into overshoot earlier each year so while your old doomsday prophet and environmental alarmist was at home depot the planet was going into overshoot. Okay, so August 13th, I was saying today, August 13th was Earth Overshoot Day, the day that humanity exhausted the resources the planet can replenish in the next year. This year, Overshoot comes four and a half months too soon, meaning before December 31st, and a week earlier than last year. I'm assuming, although it doesn't say, there's no, I'm just making the, the ridiculous doomsday jump to conclusion that this is the earliest Earth overshoot day in the history of the planet. Okay, 
And so the Center for Biological Diversity is partnering with the Global Footprint Network to raise awareness about overshoot and the impact of unsustainable overconsumption on the planet. Well, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go pick up the camera and I'm going to raise some awareness about the impact of unsustainable overconsumption on the planet. I am sitting in what is going to be the master bedroom in a trailer, excuse me, mobile home in Sebastopol, California, where one single woman is going to be living. Okay, so this is what it looks like in this room right here. This is so uh, one single human being can have not one bathroom. The, the bathroom that was here was not good enough. So we ripped out the master bathroom, rebuilding the master bathroom, which had been in this trailer for 40 years because it was not good enough. And it is, as the doomsday prophet walks, it is about 12 feet to the second bathroom. Now, she may or may not be ripping out this bathtub. If she can get the ring cleaned up, maybe. Do you want here, of course, the, uh, the furnace and the air conditioner that needs to be cleaned out. I've already done a thing you know, about the washer and dryer here are the kitchen cabinets, the perfectly good kitchen cabinets. Been in this trailer for 40 years, not good enough. No, we're off to Home Depot, ripping out these perfectly good cabinets. So one single person can have more storage space for all her stuff, for all her stuff. Speaking of stuff, I need like my paint job here. This is, this is my stuff. This is pretty much every material possession I own on the planet other than a house on two acres. And as you will soon learn, the other thing I was doing on August 13th was shopping for my new gas-sucking truck, which the reason I'm working so hard here on Earth Overshoot Day is so yours truly can buy a gas-sucking truck. We will have plenty of more rants about that. I'm hoping to actually get it next week. Alright, but let's get back. That was me within six feet of where I'm sitting. That was me raising awareness about overshoot and the impact of unsustainable overconsumption on the planet. Getting back to the issue at hand. This is Lee Moyer, the center's population organizer. I love that, the population organizer. Quote, as we continue to clear-cut trees, burn fossil fuels, and consume wild animals, the earth cannot keep up. 
We see evidence of this in shrinking habitat, the global climate crisis, and crashes in wildlife populations. We are blowing through nature's capital and, the, and wildlife and the planet are suffering for it, close quote. So what this does, what is overshoot? Well, overshoot takes into account the amount of resources used by the Earth's human population and the waste we produce, particularly carbon dioxide build up in the atmosphere. Of course, I could, if it was daylight, I, well, no, the, uh, our illegal aliens just hauled off the second trailer full of waste being produced in this trailer that's perfectly good stuff. These cabinets, these perfectly good floors that were here, uh, plumbing fixtures, countertops, maybe an old sink or two going all into the landfill. That could have been a whole nother rant. Um, so anyway, it describes this whole formula for coming up with the overshoot day. And the bottom line is this year, the planet's resources lasted 224 days or until August 13th. So the rest of the year from here on out, the planet is in Overshoot. Overshoot. The rest of the year, the planet is in overshoot. Okay, another quote here. We are currently using more than the equivalent of one and a half Earths every year. And if everyone lived like Americans, we would use four and a half Earths. Since we only have one Earth, this is clearly unsustainable. And of course, it is what the, the number one, the number one item on the things to do list of every other non-American on the planet is to live like Americans. Uh, for instance, these two illegal aliens uh, from Mexico or wherever the hell they are, I mean, really nice guys. What are they doing? They are here to live like Americans. That is the goal of the planet, to live like Americans. Okay. And uh, no rant of mine would be complete without picking up my bullshit button, detector button. In addition to raising awareness about overshoot of a planet, the center is launching a public petition urging the Target retail chain to discontinue use of single-use plastic shopping bags from its stores nationwide. Target positions itself as a sustainable retailer with goals to reduce waste and cut back on greenhouse gas emissions, but continues to give away a billion plastic bags per year, many of which end up in landfills as litter or as ocean pollution. Now guys, again, kind of what I was saying about Cecil the Lion last night and and uh, these trophy hunters, I, I, I am in full support 
I am in full support of the Center for Biological Diversity's petition to get Target to stop using plastic bags. But if, 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 if there is anybody on this planet suffering any delusion on any level that getting Target to stop using one billion plastic bags a year is going to set back set back Earth Overshoot Day 2016 to August the 14th. If, if, if anybody is suffering any delusion that this this petition, if it is successful, is going to make one goddamn iota of difference on what day this planet enters overshoot next year, I've got one thing to tell you, Center for Biological Diversity, as much as I support your cause. All right. Anyway, I will uh, try to figure out how to put the link on here so uh, you too can spread the word and email this page to your friends, which is exactly what I am going to do to my friend who will receive this and assuming she opens the email, she will have zero clue what this means. She will be completely confused about why I sent it to her. Uh, she will just assume that I that I must have must have been a, like a butt call email. And uh, she will spend about, I'm guessing, well, what is, they're saying eight seconds is the human attention span. She will spend eight seconds on this email, make zero connection uh, between this email and this trailer because she will be in a hurry to get back to Home Depot and I will probably be in the car with her. Anyway, it's after midnight and I need to go to bed because I got to get up and paint the outside of this trailer tomorrow, but I think I got one more little rantlet coming to you. For this one, bye guys.